Behind silk tie lies you send our children to fight your evil wars. When it comes to fighting on yourselves, you hide behind rich connection doors. You ignore homeless veterans, call heroes traitors who refuse to kill. Maybe Jesus will forgive you. But America never will. No, we'll never ever forgive you. Not in a million years. Generation... Hello, everyone. Welcome to Humanity Matters. Tonight's episode is called We're Not Retreating. And I'm Annette Mendel, co host of Humanity Matters. And now I'm going to introduce you to the host of Humanity Matters, Albert Turcaso. Hi, everyone. Uh, first of all, I want to let you know the last few months I've been deliberately staying away from political issues. But you know, there comes a time when you got to go back to what is needed. And I do want to make a quick statement that we are going to be talking about political issues to some degree, uh, and that I want to make one quick disclaimer. The people who say what they say, myself included, uh, we will say are responsible for their own comments. And so if I say something, it doesn't necessarily mean people agree or disagree with me, as vice versa. But um, tonight, probably going to be a hot water night. And I want to quickly say one thing, and that is that I'm going to talk about the Wall Street protesters. And in fact, this is, in a large sense, the reason why I named this We're Not Retreating, this episode, is actually dedicated to the Wall Street protesters and the protesters around the nation and before we get into anything, I want to throw something at you, and that is this. It seems that governments around, state governments, city governments around the nation now are finding every which way to try to disrupt the protest and coming up with new laws and new excuses to stop the Wall Street, anti-Wall Street protesters. And in some ways, this is a wonderful thing. And why is it a wonderful thing? Because it means that you are starting to bring the people the knowledge that they need, and, and you're getting support. You're gaining support. If you can hold out, if those of you protesting can hold out, we're going to change this nation for the better. This movement can become as powerful as back in the 60s when we had the anti-war movement and the civil rights movement. It can, but every Pittsburgher needs to get behind these Wall Street protesters, even if you don't agree with them on everything, you should agree with them on principle. What they are doing is very brave. Yeah, maybe their message is a little bit diluted right now, but at least they're starting to wake up. And I've been calling for this for seven years, this type of peaceful protesting, signing petitions, calling Congress, uh, dealing with the corporations, because we need to bring back the America. First of all, I shouldn't even say bring back the America we used to have, because it wasn't for everybody. So we need to bring a new America. We need to put in place the tools the careers and what have you that will get us where we need to be. And we cannot worry about how well other countries are doing. We need to start working about and wondering about and worrying about how we are doing. But with all that, I want to introduce my guests tonight. And they're going to do a little bit of talking about some other things, which will be good. But tonight, this is all about fighting the good fight, fighting it legally, fighting it peacefully, and I hate to say this, but I'm going to say it, sometimes it may seem like some groups are doing things illegally, but sometimes it's because the laws 
are suddenly changed to make it illegal. So let me just say for all the protesters around the country, and for that matter around the globe, do it peacefully. You may not always be able to do it legally if they change the law on you. Do it peacefully. And as long as you continue to do things peacefully, I'm going to support you. But we do have a lot of people here tonight. So let's go ahead and first of all, all of you know Chris Weiss. And this is going to be an interesting introduction. Live and in person, for the first time ever on Humanity Matters, frequent caller, the one, the only, Glenn Seals is here with us tonight. And next to him, we have Jerome C. Wilson. You thought I was going to forget that C, didn't you? I thank you. Jerome C. Wilson's in the house. And I'm Albert <laughs> Tor Casso. And this is the Reverend, she knows I'm going to get us in trouble, the Reverend <laughs> Rosemary <laughs> Seals. And that's Annette Mendel. And me and Annette Mendel. So everybody, we are here. We are going to take your calls, 412-231-2288. But uh, quickly, I think I might have forgot to do something. So in case I did, I want to say happy birthday to Jay. And hello, and happy birthday to Jay. And hello to Kathy, who couldn't make it today, who was going to return. But there was an emergency. So hello to Kathy Payer, and happy birthday. Um, and pretty much... Let's get right to the business at hand. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to have Annette ask Glenn, Jerome, or Reverend Seals the very first question. It's up to you, so now to Annette. Well, Jerome, yes. we're here tonight to talk about what you're involved with and exactly what you do and what you're doing. And do you think... Occupied Wall Street protesters are going to succeed with what they're set out to do? Well, there's a possibility some of the content of what they're protesting can be solved, though it's sort of like with most anything that goes on in America, you need support. And the way to support it is, as Al said, peacefully. We need more peaceful supporting protests. And I really don't even call them protests anymore. I mean, they're even what we term them in one Pittsburgh, actions. Now, the action is that you're trying to get something to change, and there is a way for that change to evolve, though without doing it a peaceful way and without utilizing all of the possibilities that you can, you're going to set yourself up for a failure. Okay. Well, they have my support. Well, there you go. Okay. And um, you have a question for Glenn Seals? Um... What do you think of all this, Glenn? Well, what's I, your opinion about what's taking place? Well, <laughs> like Glenn Crow said, we got to move forward. We can't go backwards. We got to move forward, and we, and we got to go uh, forward any way we can. We got to do it, like he said, peacefully. Yeah, get your march. microphone. Okay. Get your microphone. He has a microphone. Oh, you He's do? He's attached to the microphone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a the microphone there. You know, <laughs> and peace is the answer, you know, and don't do nothing out out wild rested, and then if you can't do it peacefully, take it to, to the lawyers and, the, and to the, and to the um, lawyers that, yeah, that, that's, legal. that's legal, you know, right. do it the legal way. You know, don't go out hating and calling, because you can hurt people with name calling too, just as well as you can hurt them with a gun and knife something. You can hurt them too, you know, but being peacefully and have a peaceful march and say what's on your mind. You got to speak and speak mm -hmm. the truth all the time if you can. Well, I do believe, and that has a question for your mother, Rosemary, and then, and, then, and, then, and then I get to start my firecrackers. Rosemary, what's your opinion in all this? Well, my opinion is that I agree with the panel and Elvis greatly mm -hmm. because we need to know the things that we can that we need to have that is justified for all mankind to uh, be able to get out in numbers because numbers means a lot. Unity, we can do great things with unity. Divided, you can't do it. So as long as we can do it, I would say also peacefully and intelligently and, and, and with faith, all things are possible. If you, especially when you know you're on the right road. See, and when you know you're right, go ahead. And we know that Wall Street and all those people are not right they have told the people 
that the United States don't have this and that, they got more money, they'll never, so much money, they'll never go broke. Never. This, this, this politician, the way it's set up now, it will never go broke. But we got to get together on one accord and join in. I know it's going to be trouble. It's not going to be easy. But you're going to have to keep your eyes on the sparrow and, and make, know that you're right and go ahead. I definitely have a question for Chris. Oh, Chris, question. What's your opinion? Then it's my on turn. This? My opinion with this is I, I'm, I'm a member. To the microphone. I am a member of One Pittsburgh. I'm involved with their, with the, their functions. And um, and we need to get more people involved because there's power in numbers. Okay. Well. Very really well put. I uh, before we go any further. I have a job to do, I have a job for Glenn Seals to do. Now Glenn, you see on the monitor that the audience, you can't see this, but there's a monitor in here. It says there's a call, Glenn. Can you please answer the call? Who's calling? You might have to repeat it. Say what? Say go ahead, call her. Go, go ahead, call her real loud. Go ahead, call her. Call her, go ahead. Call her, are you there? Well, apparently we don't have a call. That's all right, we'll get it later. Okay. Okay, well, um, the one caller hung up at this point, but they'll be back. Okay. So, yeah. oh. let me go ahead and throw some things out there. Uh, to kind of establish where we're going with this, or where I'm going, I don't know where all of you are going. I, I think we're on, a, I know we're on the same team. Mm -hmm. We may just have different. Okay. Football teams that we're, yeah. we're, we're on, but we're on the same team. But let me throw this out there now. There's something that I don't know how many of you used to hear of a show named Columbo with Peter Falk. Yeah. Yeah. Any here, raise your hand if you've seen Columbo. All right. Who has it? We all have, right? <laughs> For all those uh, youngsters out there, Columbo was a detective who was very intelligent, but he always acted. Well, let's not say dumb, but, but kind of uninformed. But what he would do is he would say, I have one more question. And he would do something like this. Uh, yeah, I forgot something, something like that. <laughs> so I'm going to pull a little, little trick on our friends in Wall Street. Well, well, okay, my friend. <laughs> but before we get to this call, I'm going to do a little Columbo. Now, it seems to me that we have a president of the United States <laughs> supposed to represent the people. We have members of Congress, which is in the House, supposed to represent the people. And we even have the Senate, supposed to represent the people. And then, of course, in all 50 states, we have legislators, supposed to represent the people. But what's interesting, now, I like the president. He, he's all right. But, you know, I think that even the president, well, maybe they've been drinking some, some whiskey or something, because I think they forgot they work for the people. people the people the people you work for the people okay so here's what I'm getting at now the president the Democratic Party and the Republican Party they all say we need to cut our deficit by three trillion dollars we need to cut back on entitlements we need to cut funding for health care we need to cut Medicare, which is health care, Social Security, and education. And we got to get our fiscal house in order. Oh, dang. Throw out. Something don't sound right. Wait a minute. I'm going to get into right. the okay. hamburger, the french fries, believe me. Something just don't sound right. Now, we got to get our fiscal house in order. But yet, General Electric made $2.3 billion dollars in this quarter alone, and in the last three years, pay zero, zero, zero taxes. Now, hold on a minute. The government says we need money, and we don't have money. But the government says to GE, you know what? Don't give us any money. We're fine. And then, what's the government do? They you don't. didn't pay us any money, but you know what? We're going to give you some money. We don't have money. We're going to give you some money we don't have. So, excuse me, but U.S. government, every senator, every congressman, and Mr. President, get off the alcohol. 
if you don't have the money, you start taking in taxes the money from GE, the money from McDonald's, the money from these corporations. Because you know what, America? Here's the scary thing that, that we got to throw at you. Do you realize that if the corporations paid their taxes, we would make almost, if not more, than a trillion dollars in taxes, revenue taxes a year? Almost. I'm not saying it would be that high, but it would at least be a couple hundred billion dollars coming in. But the government, they say, you know what? You got all that money. You don't need, we don't need it, we're good. So I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit upset with every Democrat. Not no, excuse me, there's a couple good ones, but I'm still upset with you because you may be good, but you're not good enough. So every Democrat, Albert Tricasso, is mad at you. Every Republican, Albert Tricasso, is mad at you. And you know what, Mr. President? I like you, but I'm mad at you. You're not saving the lives of your people. And you let, all of you have let the influence of the extreme millionaires and the corporations dictate the laws of the many and the people dictating those laws and getting you to make it are the few. The 1% are controlling the 99%. And you know what? I don't know about anybody else. I'm not going to take it anymore. But I tell you what, Glenn has a call. Hopefully they're here. And then after that, Jerome has something he wants to get off his chest. And he's going to talk about what time it is. And then we're going to pass it on to the Reverend Seals and Glenn Seals and Annette and Chris. But I'm opening up an entire universe of whoop butt. Now, with that, Glenn, can you please answer the call? I mean, get the call. Can't answer because it ain't you, but get the call. Go ahead, caller. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Hello. Hi, Donna. Fine. How are you guys? All right. Yeah. All right. I'm fired up and I ain't going to take it no more. <laughs> That's good to hear. Fired up and ready to go. Um, oh, are you really? Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. I got a reverend here. See? <laughs> go ahead. Speak up. Okay. Happy birthday to Call Me, Nikki. Call me. Congratulations to Chad and Ashley. Happy birthday to Steve. Oh, jeez. Happy anniversary to Yvonne and Jason. Happy birthday to Yvonne Heiss. And let's see. Hello to Frank from the north side. Um, let's see. Who else? We can say go. We can go on and on and on. Uh, tonight's dinner is spaghetti, pizza. Oh, good. Uh, spaghetti, pizza with pepperoni, pizza with pepperoni and sausage, kielbasa. That's tonight's dinner. And I'll have spaghetti shine. and kielbasa. Well, you can tell me that when you get here. And if anybody else wants to come for dinner, they have to call Al Tricasso, and he'll give you the address and all the information. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, they can't call me unless you want me to give them my phone number. No, 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 no. They can call hey, me, yeah, all right? This way I can have all the guys. Of no, that's all right. They can always call. Hello? Yeah, we're here. Oh, I thought you left it to me. What? What are you whispering about? Uh, well, we got a technical issue here. Yeah, uh huh. Um, I have to do. We do have a technical issue. Maybe we can have the camera facing myself, Reverend Seals, and and um, Annette? Annette for a while, because we got a little bit of a technical issue with one of the guests on the right hand side. Shut up. Well, don't tell me, shut up. We're going to say hi to Mike. I just said technical issue. Well, we can still say hi to Mike and Tony and Jeff. Well, we can say hi to Mike and Tony and who? Jeff. Why do we have to say hi to Mike and Tony and Jeff? Because you always say hi to the guys. Well, yeah, but you know, that ain't right to be saying hi to Steve and Beeve and Freeve. Well, it's Steve's birthday, and we always say when it's Oh, you mean, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. October 11th is Steve Cavendish's birthday, and he's in Ohio, and he might not ever hear this. Thank gosh. Oh, okay. See? There's nothing wrong with Steve. We won't go there. Humanity matters, but I don't want to talk about no See, he matters yet. to me. Let me tell you something. What? The, and I'm going to say this, and I want the whole world to hear this. The man for you, his name is Nikki Coles. Period. And 